All right, everyone. I am in rural Missouri. I'll show you on the map. Uh, closest big city is Kansas City. It's straight south. Kind of in this four cornerish area of Missouri, Kansas, Nebraska, and Iowa. I want to do some exploring up here. And uh, the first town is going to be Albany. But there are a lot of beautiful homes in this little city. It is named after the one in New York. By the way, in case you're wondering. Now, Albany in 1980 had uh, 2,100 people in it, a little over. Today, there are just shy of 1,700. So it's lost some population. Median age here is 41. 95% of the town is white. 2% Hispanic, 1% Black, 1% Asian, and 1% Mixed. Median household income, uh, 43200 a year. So that's about $830 a week. Anyway, let's see. We'll make my way into downtown. How about another number? 19% uh, poverty. That's a little high, but cost of living is low. Median home value is 82,100. So that is uh, inexpensive. You can uh, get a house pretty cheap here. This is the county seat of Gentry County. And uh, they have an incredible courthouse here. They've got a square. So I'm going to just drive around this square to the front of this courthouse and show it to you. But we'll get a look at downtown, shall we? Got some, um, got some people here. Doesn't look like it's a super quiet downtown. Uh, the courthouse is right here. Let me um, get to the front of that. Yeah, they got lots of nice shops and things here. But anyway, this is what's clearly the crown jewel of the town, and that is their county courthouse. High Victorian Gothic. So that means it was designed during Queen Victoria's reign taking cues from medieval era architecture, 11th and 12th century. That's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Anyway, uh, yeah, let's just drive around here a little bit more. Finish seeing the downtown, shall we? Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I'm just kind of cruising around the neighborhoods here. They have got a lot of beautiful homes here. That is something. How much would it cost to build a house like that today? A lot. Uh, crime is really low in this town, by the way. Uh, last year they had 17 incidents per 1,000 people, U.S. average is 23, and uh, it's pretty much all property crime. Well guys, uh, I've driven all over this town. You know, I usually like to show you some of the abandoned homes, that kind of thing, because quite frankly, they're just interesting to look at, but I can't find anything like that in this town. This town is immaculate. <laughs> Nothing's perfect, but um, this town might be the closest thing to it that I've seen in quite a while. There just isn't any run-down old houses here. Well, 
almost hit a squirrel. What is there to say? There's nothing to say. Oh, these great houses. Huh. Well, there's not much to report here, guys. So, uh, <laughs> going to head to the next town. All right, everyone, I am about to drive into downtown King City. King City has about 800 people in it. There used to be uh, a little over a thousand. That was in 1950. Median age is 40 years old. 54% of the town is female. So 46% is male. 95% uh, of the town is white. The last 5% is mixed. Right, here's the uh, fire department right off the bat. And uh, this building here, I'm going to see if, if I can get it at a different angle. That's an old opera house. Yeah, they have an opera house here. Yeah, it was built in... Uh, when was it built? 1895. Yeah, a little quaint little downtown. King City Senior Citizen Center. Um, yeah, they got several big churches. When you drive into town, there's a big sign that says King City and it lists the churches. <laughs> There's one of them right there it looks like. $42,900 that's the median household income for a year. That's $825 a week. Poverty is 13% uh, which is pretty good. That's right at the national average and uh, cost of living here is low. Now there's an abandoned home. Couldn't find any of these in the last town I was in. Yeah, there's one right there. While I'm here in the neighborhoods, I'll tell you the median home value of the town, uh, of the homes in the town anyway, and it's $100,000. Right at $100,000 actually. $100,300. That's the median home value. See, I'll get all that spit out. Just takes me a second. Uh, they do have a Dollar General. You can see it over there in the distance. Yeah. Yeah, just kind of wandering around. I know there is a an item that's on the or a building that's on the National Register that's unique here. I got a pretty good idea where it is. I'm trying to find it. Uh, they have this building here called Big Pump. It was built in 1937. Yeah, here it is. It's Art Deco. They say, and you know what? Now that I see it, I could totally see the Art Deco. That makes total sense, doesn't it? That's pretty cool. Now they got kind of a museum here I guess you know those huge turbines that you see in the rural areas here's a couple of the fans you just drive up in between them that's pretty cool I think uh, well they call it completely green energy those turbines what do you guys think because I also hear or read that when one of these fans malfunction or they have to be replaced uh, what do you do with them they're huge too you can see them uh, 
there's that uh, big pump again how cool huh anyway yeah you get a feeling for how big these things are, are as I drive in between these two so what do you do with them you know just bury them I don't think they're recyclable so uh, I don't know I don't know what to think about that what do you guys think hmm anyway let's see crime uh, 4.2 per 100 people that's a little high US average is 2.3 all right uh, let's see I haven't given you gas prices yet there's a Casey's 329 a gallon Casey's is the big convenience store chain up here um, they're pretty much in every town I want to show you this um, Opera Hall it is quite a building especially for a small town like this yeah how about that huh Isn't that something again built in 1895 on the National Register as you can well imagine it's amazing well I don't know if anybody lives in there or not that was a huh Oh, by the way, Nicole is here. <laughs> she hasn't really talked much, but... There's a, yeah, there's a couple of personal belongings there, so I, I would say somebody does. You think somebody does live there, huh? Yeah, there's a cooler out there. And... Yeah, but that could just be... I know, but it looks to me like some... It's potentially a spectacular house, though. Same here. Right here, kind of kitty corner to it. That is... At one time, at least, was really beautiful. Look at that huge... Uh, porch deck on the second floor. Yeah, that's cool. And all that woodwork. It's an amazing house. That's worth renovating. Anyway, uh, yeah, streets in this town are really pretty. In a lot of places, though. With the trees and everything. Alright, guys. Well, uh, I'm trying to shoot five towns today. And I don't want this video to get too crazy long, so uh, I'm going to keep it moving. I'm going to head to the next town now. Alright everyone, I am entering the town of Stanbury. Now, way back in the year 1900, there were 2,700 people here. Uh, in 1900, that's a pretty big town. Anyway, today there are a little over 1,100. So it is much smaller. Uh, median age here is 37. Gender breakdown is 50-50. Equal amounts, boys and girls. The town is 96% white, 2% Hispanic, 1% Asian, and 1% Pacific Islander. I think that's the uh, first time I've run across Pacific Islanders in a town. Oh, they got a nice square downtown square here with a little park anyway uh, with 1100 people I'm wondering if there is a family of Pacific Islanders here that's probably what's going on there's a pretty big family of them here and they make up 1% of the population uh, median household income is 54,400 a year that's over a thousand a week. That's pretty good income, especially with the uh, cost of living uh, as low as it is here. Uh, median house, or I'm sorry, the median home value here is ninety-three thousand dollars. So 
So uh, you can get a house pretty cheap. Got a train caboose here. Looks like the centerpiece of the square, as well as it should be. Nice. I like that. Anyway, uh, poverty is 17%. So, uh, that's pretty good. That's actually really good for a town with this low cost of living. And uh, crime. Crime is low. 15 incidents per 1,000 people. The U.S. average 23. Check out that old sign up there. That'd look good in my uh, man cave. Let me see if I can zoom up to that. Yeah. I would like to have that. What do you guys think? I think I'd love to see you climb up there and get it. I'd do it. I'm not scared. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. I'm not scared. And there's a post office. I had read that the post office uh, was built in 1879. I was wondering, that one, is it still here? It doesn't look like it. That looked pretty modern. I would have loved to see an 1800, late 1800s uh, post office though. Mm -hmm. That would have been hella cool. Oh, Am I right? <laughs> yeah, not with your choice of words, but yeah. Who said that, Cartman? Yeah, Cartman on the South Park. He's he he liked to say hella cool to everything. That's hella cool. <laughs> anyway, a uh, big church here. First Baptist Church. It's quite a magnificent building, isn't it? Anyway, well, let's look around for a bit. Now this is what you call a picture-perfect house. It's the kind of house you read, a, you know, when you read a fairy tale or, you know, like a kid's book. That's what the house would look like in it. You think? Um, That's a beauty. Maybe, uh, Maybe nothing. That's where Hansel and Gretel live, right there. Did you know that? <laughs> Hansel and Gretel? I didn't know that. Oh yeah, Hansel and Gretel. Look at the woodwork up there, the top and the gables. Man, you, you, you couldn't afford that now. I mean, you could if you're rich, maybe. They got some interesting looking homes here. Um, got one here that's abandoned, and then one here with lots of stuff in it, including a dog. What's up, fella? Can you see him? Yeah, he's just looking at me. Oh, now he wants to come get me. I think he just wanted to be petted. He didn't look mean at all, did he? I don't know. I only saw him for a split second. Oh, what's going on here? Somebody's got their uh, mobile home. And in their house, look at it. It looks like it's buried in the ground. Yeah. It is buried in the ground. I've seen that one other time, and that was in Dodge City, Kansas. Yeah, there's a garage there. That is fascinating. That's a real old house. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, these small towns, you always find interesting homes. Not always in good condition, but you can tell that they were incredible at one time well okay what do you think let's head to the next town okay well everyone we are in the town of Maryville, out on foot, checking out the uh, square. Not a way. Yeah, this is not a way county. Anyway. That's my kind of county. Does that mean I get to sleep a lot? Yeah, you get to sleep a lot. <laughs> this county courthouse 
hell, it's one of the most beautiful buildings I've ever seen. I'm walking right by it. I'm talking it up to you guys before I show it to you. I was going to say, all I've seen so far is the very, very top of all the trees. Well, there's trees in the way. Yes, you're right. But here we go. You ready for this county courthouse? It is unreal. Look at this building. Does it kind of remind you of the clock tower from Back to the Future? Uh, so the well... Well, just this tower. I can't remember what the rest of that building looked like. Yeah, it's, it's way better than that. <laughs> Back to the Future. Yeah, this, uh, Maryville is the Nottoway County seat. That's the county courthouse, built in 1883. Uh, it is Victorian Italianate. 16th century Italian architecture, interpreted during Queen Victoria's reign, of course, in the 1800s. That's just amazing, an amazing building. Anyway, uh... I guess I should tell you a little bit about Maryville. There's almost 11,000 people here. Uh, 2010, there were 12,000 people. So it's lost a little bit of population, but not much. Median age is 30, pretty low, mostly because this is where Northwest Missouri State University is. Yeah, here is Northwest Missouri State College, founded by the, anyway, that is here in town. So this is a college town. They've got a nice um, little military, uh, um, what do you call it, memorial here. <laughs> God, it, it took me a second to think of that. Sure did. When you get old, the words just don't come in your brain like they used to. It kind of sucks. Uh, anyway, 55% of this town is female. So that means 45% is male. They got another war memorial here. Lots of nice stuff in this town. I like it. 90% of the town is white, 4% black, 2% Hispanic, 2% Asian, and the last 2% mixed. Well, we decided to come over here in the shade and cool off because it is hot out here. It is a Thursday. Uh, about two in the afternoon, middle of June. It is 91 degrees Fahrenheit, um, 33 Celsius. Wow, this building, did I say when it was built? 1883, by the way. You can tell it's really old, this courthouse. Anyway, the median uh, household income here is 39,800. Just under 40000 a year. That's $765 a week. A little bit lower than the uh, previous towns. Poverty is 31%. That's pretty high. And, uh, you know, even if the cost of living is low, that is surprisingly high. Uh, such a beautiful building, isn't it? Crime's pretty good, though. 17 incidents. Per 1,000 people, U.S. average is 23, so crime is lower here. And as we make our way around this courthouse. Well, one more statistic. The median home value here is 132700 So, um, yeah, the houses are a little more expensive here. I guess we, uh, should we go see them? We'll go see some houses. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Well, we're we're gonna drive. We're not gonna we're not gonna walk. Are you ready to go do that? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. See that window? It's like in the middle of the floor. That must be where the stairs are, and there's a landing. But that house looks pretty cool inside. Uh, it is it is a beauty. Let's get up to it. Yeah, I like that. The one next door is. The, uh, in even better shape. And we're right here. Uh, this one needs some upkeep. I'm sorry. Yeah, but architecturally speaking. Yeah, it's a cool house. It is unbelievable. It's a cool house. Yeah. <laughs> and that great big wraparound porch. I know. The, yeah, that big uh, kind of gazebo like attachment. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That is so awesome. What can we say? 
beautiful town. So, yeah, we're gonna head to the next one. Well, we are in the town of Savannah. I don't know if it's named after Savannah, Georgia. You think so? Maybe, possibly. Possible. Um, this town is a county seat as well and has, like the last town, a spectacular county courthouse building as well. This is Andrew County Courthouse. That's a beautiful building. I wonder what that statue is supposed to be. Up top? Let me zoom in and see. I'm not sure. You can see the storm's trying to move in on us. Uh, isn't that like Lady Justice or something like that? It is a courthouse. No, Lady Justice is she. No. That's not Lady first Justice. Of all, first of all, Lady Justice has a blindfold across her eyes because. Well, can you see? Because, I the, because the law is blind? No. The law is blind. <laughs> I, don't think, I think I said it wrong, but that's the idea. Oh, okay. Justice is blind, I think it is. Oh, justice is blind. Okay. Okay. Well, anyway, this building was built in 1899. Romanesque revival. So it uh, takes cues from 11th century Rome. Well, you definitely see that in the statue up there. It looks Roman, doesn't it? Beautiful clock. It's a gorgeous building. Well over 100 years old. When was it built? Uh, 1899. It's a beauty. Anyway, we'll wander around here a bit. Huh? Man, it's beautiful and still. Feels like a storm is about to move in. <laughs> it's so quiet. It's, it's hot as heck. Hot as heck, yes. Hot as heck. In the 90s. I thought I was not allowed to curse. <laughs> yes, you're not allowed to curse. My mom used to say, hot as H-E double hockey sticks. Oh, well, there so, you go. I was like, oh my God, that is so corny. Well, about the town, there's 5,100 people here. That's peak population. So this town is bucking the trend that a lot of towns I visit do, and that it is not slowly dying or slowly losing population. Median age is 40. 55% of the town is female. At least 45 for a male, if my math is right, correct? Unless you take other factors into consideration, but we're not going to do that here. Uh, that took me a second. I'm like, what? <laughs> took you a second to get that, didn't it? Yes, it did. You gotta, if you read the news, you know that's the I, kind of stuff going on right now. I don't have to read the news. You're always preaching it to me. All right, well, anyway, 98% of this town is white. Sheesh. Too mixed. Median household income is 45700 That's 880 a week. Poverty is 7%. That's a lot better than the last town. That's very low poverty. Uh, I mean, and then you factor in the lower cost of living. Median home value is 114000 So you can get a house pretty cheap here. Less than half of what uh, it costs in the rest of the country as a whole. Last year, 10 incidents per 1,000 people. U.S. average 23. Crime is very low here. Less than half uh, as the U.S. as a whole. There you go. Andrew County, organized 1841. One of six counties in the Indian Platte Purchase. Yeah annexed to Missouri, 1837. Name for, uh, for Andrew Jackson Davis, St. Louis editor. Okay. Hmm. Well. It is named for Savannah, Georgia. It is named for Savannah, Georgia. Okay, there we go. That's good to know. Just like the last town, it's just a lot of beautiful houses here. That is awesome. It's got a detached garage. Play some basketball. Check out what they did with their above ground pool, put a deck on it. That's a cool idea. 
That's the way you do it. It's a lot cheaper. <laughs> well, like, yeah, but it's still a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is the thing with Missouri. Some of Missouri is really rough. Mm -hmm. I mean, really rough. But other parts of Missouri are just spectacular. Some of my favorite towns that I've ever visited on this trip are here in Missouri. I think my very favorite town is Glasgow, which is kind of north central, right here in Missouri. Absolutely beautiful town. These towns uh, saw today are pretty awesome too. Overall, what do you think? Yeah, I like them. I like the houses are pretty cool. Most of them are gigantic and. Look at that house. It's got your porch up, up top, like you want the deck or whatever. Oh, I don't want it like that because you'd fall out of that. <laughs> no, you would. I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, you know, I'm showing you into the neighborhood. It just looks like this everywhere. All these great houses here. Some of them need a little paint, but it's pretty. You need another porch, a new porch. <laughs> yeah. Overall, it's just a really cool town. Yeah. All right, everybody, so that's the end of this video. South like Dakota, that. Minnesota, Wisconsin, Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So, all that is coming up next. Be looking for those.